<laughs> We're looking for a new Prime Minister, madam. You look lovely. Would you like to be, uh, have a little chat about it? Would you like to be the new Prime Minister? Why not? You're Brazilian, we don't mind. It's cool. Corruptible. If we give you money, you do what we tell you to do. Is that okay? He doesn't make it anywhere you're from. Really. You understand money, eh? Yes. <laughs> Can I talk to you about Brexit? What? Can I talk to you about Brexit? Brexit! Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, if you're talking about Brexit, you're talking about what they want you to talk about. There's a prayer that goes a bit like this. God. Alright, it doesn't start off well, admittedly. <laughs> Grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, the courage to change the things I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. What can you change about Europe? Nothing. There's nothing you can do about it, you people. No point going and playing a crossfire. I mean, anyway, there was a million difference between the, the winners and the losers anyway, so none of your votes made a difference, firstly. Secondly, you can't do anything about all that nonsense. It's nothing to do with you. You've already given all that away. By going and voting, you're saying, here, yeah, you do it. It's a trick to make you think you have power, but the only power I have is the power over my own mind, my own choices, and my own feelings. My choices to what, I, what type of things I allow my mind to be exposed with. Brexit, it's not something that I want to spend my time talking about. It's none of my business. My business is, can I stop eating when I've, just before I've had enough? That's my business. Can I avoid going into a shop and getting some of what they call chocolate, which is laden with drugs? That's my business, and it's yours too. Your business is to go into a shop and look, start examining their marketing and ask yourself what they're really up to. <laughs>